Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Maniacal Munty and today we'll be playing a game called Imposter. So it's a short visual novel horror with an option of a male or a female partner. I don't know anything else about the game, so let's give it a go. Please select a voice for your partner. Welcome home. So, how was your day? Welcome home. So, how was your day? In my opinion, this voice sounds like a much younger man, and this one sounds like a much older man. But, ba personally, I'd go for this one. But based on how he looks, I'm personally going to go for the younger sounding voice. Welcome home. Dinner's already in the oven. Since you've been working so many late nights this week, I figured I'd actually make myself useful for a change and cook your favorite. Okay. Fair enough. Very nice of you. Sweet of me, you say? <laughs> Not even half as sweet as you. That's a bit. I know, I don't like that kind of So, thing. how was your day? Oh, really? Well, that's great. Please don't overwork yourself, though. I know you always give everything your best, but even you have to slow down sometimes or you'll wind up sick. I presume I had a good day. Whatever I was doing at work, wherever I work, I don't know what I do. Silly. I'm just worried about you is all. It seems like you're working non-stop lately. Come here, you. I want to see that wonderful face of yours before you jump in the shower. This is a bit cringy. He's a bit over the top in my personal opinion. Like, are they in their honeymoon phase at the moment or something? You really are just as stunning as the day we met. You know that, right? Okay. Remember our first anniversary? When you spilled that dessert all down yourself and then managed to rip a giant hole in your shirt while desperately trying to stop it from staining? <laughs> yeah, that's right. We were so far away from the hotel. And I offered to lend you mine so you could cover up, but you said that would leave me shirtless and cold too. So we both ended up tossing away our shirts and walking all the way back in the freezing cold, half naked together. Ah, uh, good times, huh? Um, okay. Hmm? Why bring that up now? Is it so wrong for me to dwell on the past? <laughs> no, there, in my opinion, there's nothing wrong with dwelling on the past. Um, nothing wrong with reminiscing. I don't know, he just seems a little bit over the the top in my personal opinion. I can't quite put my I can't quite put my finger on him. <sighs> the both of us are just so busy these days. I like thinking back on those times when we had more freedom, you know? So how long have they actually been going out for? So I'm guessing they've actually got like a house together thinking about it and... I don't know. Um, he, he just seems really eager is probably the word. I uh, don't know. I, I'm curious to know why he seems quite eager with pleasing me, I guess. Don't worry. I still love the time we have together now just as much, okay? Every single second with you is so precious to me. Yeah, he's really coming across as eager. The look on your face says you don't believe me. Want me to show you how much I mean it? Okay. Fine, have it your way. I'll just have to show you later instead, won't I? <laughs> it's really cringy. He's really cringy. I don't like him. <laughs> You always get this one little wrinkle right here when you scowl at me like that. It's unbelievably adorable. What? You haven't noticed a single thing like that about me? Not even one tiny detail? Not ever? <laughs> oh well. Maybe it just goes to show that I love you an awful lot more than you do me. Now I'm kind of getting this sense he's playing... Maybe I'm just, maybe it's just his character. I don't know, but he's kind of, in my opinion, playing the victim like, oh, I know this about you. I've cooked your favorite dinner, but you don't know anything about me. Oh, woe's me. I love you more, quite clearly. Calm down. I'm only kidding, silly. I know you love me too. Seriously, though, I remember everything about you. From the color of your eyes, 
to that faint mark on your cheek. What mark? Oh, come on. Don't tell me I know your face better than you do. This one here, see? If you go look in the mirror, you'll definitely spot it. Still can't find it? It's super small, just underneath your cheekbone on the left-hand side. Huh? It's on the right side? Hmm, that's strange. I could have sworn it was on the left. Never mind, it's not important. Dinner's almost ready, so if you still want to have a shower, you better go now or the food will get cold. Surely you don't want to have all my hard work going to waste. Mm, I don't, uh, there's something about him, I can't quite put my finger in it, but there's something underlying him. Alright, hurry up then, or I'll eat it all before you get back down here. It's almost like he's talking to a child in some ways as well. I knew it. Something's not right. What's not right? That's a funny part of shower. I mean, it's making shower noises, but the bath is quite clearly is quite clearly full. Do I press anything, or do I let my character have a shower? Soap, 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 soap. Did you have a nice shower? That was a ridiculously quick shower. Now I can have really quick showers, but that was like less than a minute. Really ridiculously quick. What'd you do to go dumb? That's good. So I took the liberty of plating up for you as well. It's full service tonight. I want you to just sit down and relax, okay? You deserve it. I really can't put my finger on this guy. Hmm. You smell different today. Did you use a new shampoo or something? I mean... It must be really bloody close. I know they've just had a shower, but... I mean, when, when anyone you know has just had a shower, do you think, oh, you smell different, I'm gonna give you a quick sniff just to make sure you, you're using the same stuff. I don't know, it seems a bit possessive. No? Oops. What? I'll have you know that my sense of smell is perfectly normal, thank you. Maybe, because he seems to be picking up on stuff about us, maybe there's something wrong with us, actually, and he's just being him, I don't know. Food for f food? Food for thought. You know, I saw an incredibly fascinating documentary on TV earlier while you were at work, actually. Okay. It was about a woman whose husband fought in the war. But when he eventually returned home, his wife was absolutely convinced that he'd been replaced by an enemy spy. Okay. Can you imagine something so horrifying? To wait patiently all that time to see your loved one after so many years apart, only to be confronted with a total stranger. The poor woman must have been utterly heartbroken. Why the woman? Well, because she lost her husband, of course. If he was truly a spy planted by enemy forces as she believed, surely that must mean her real husband went missing at some point, and she would have had no idea. Did they ever prove the husband was a spy? Well, no. I don't think they did. But that's not the point, is it? Maybe the war just unfortunately changed him, rather than him somehow being a spy but looking like the husband, maybe he just was going through some trauma rather than actually being a different person. Hey, I know this is completely unrelated, but do you remember way back when we first started dating when you gave me that card confessing your love? You just poured all of your feelings out and I was so overwhelmed when I read it that I just sat there and cried in front of you, then tried to pretend it was an allergy related incident. <laughs> Huh? You don't recall that at all? Surely you would recall that kind of thing. If it was, if you've poured your heart and soul into something, surely you would remember that, even if it was 
six days ago or six years ago, surely you would remember that? No, it was definitely a card. You didn't send me a video message until that time I had to go away for a while. How could you possibly forget something like that? He's doing an awful lot of digging. Uh, I mean, has something prized this day happened to make him dig? I must be thinking of someone else? Are you even hearing yourself right now? There is no one else. It's always just been you and me, together forever. That was the promise we made as kids. So they've been together for quite a while then, I presume. You can't remember that either, huh? I'm going crazy? <laughs> That's rich coming from you. You want to know what I think, huh? I think that one of us here is lying, and it sure as hell isn't me. So have you got anything you want to tell me? This is only taking a bit of a, a, a darkish kind of tone. Come on, it doesn't matter how small. I promise you'll feel much better if you get it off your chest. I mean, he's kind of got like some psycho eyes going on here, but um, it is honestly making me wonder, is there something actually wrong with me or is this all in his head? It's kind of very, com com very conflicted at the moment. Well, say something. Do I have a choice of actually saying anything in this game? Not up to talking, huh? Fine, you might as well eat then. No point in letting my hard work go to waste. I said eat! Ooh, he's coming a bit, um... I'm starting to wonder if maybe he's... kidnapped girls, and I say girls because this might have happened for him, he's kind of manipulating them. I don't know, I'm kind of just going on whims here about this game. That's better. How is it? Like I said, I made your favorite, but since I don't actually know who the fuck you are, Maybe you hate stuff like this. Okay, he's getting a bit shirty. I asked you a damn question. The least you could do is have the courtesy to answer me. Ooh. Well, it doesn't matter anyhow. You'll be asleep in a minute. Then we can finally get down to business. What? What? This is weird. This is getting really weird. Oh, now you can speak again, huh? Funny that, isn't it? You can flap that ridiculous mouth of yours open and close when you feel like it, but not for me. Oh, no. Of course not for me. Never mind the fact that I'm supposed to be the most important thing in your life. Okay. No, that doesn't mean anything anymore, does it? Not when you've gone someplace far, far away where I can't possibly reach you. But you see, I think I've managed to figure this whole awful situation out. Okay, I'm intrigued. Tell me. Shh. I'm trying to explain this so that the real you will understand. They're not going to be able to hear me if you keep talking over every word I say. I'm really conflicted. Is he, I don't, I'm, I'm intrigued where this is going. That's it. Shh. I promise this will all be over soon. You just have to be patient, okay? Now close your eyes and let yourself drift away slowly. Softly, silently slipping into slumber. Maybe he's lost his girlfriend that he had this relationship with and he's just sort of taking random girls and making them forget. And he's trying to mold them into what she was. I don't know. Okay, I'm in the basement. Wakey, wakey. That's scary. Hmm, guess I must have used too much of that stuff. Where is this story going? Oh, good, you're awake. Sorry if I startled you earlier. It's just, we're in a bit of a predicament, you see. Okay. Now, I know you think that you're you, and for the most part, you do seem to be. I'll admit, it's so convincing that you almost had me fooled. Hell, maybe you're just that good you've even managed to fool yourself. But I know better. The devil is in the details and all that. Your tricks are exposed. I've been paying extra close attention for the last few weeks, and the more I watched you, 
the more I realized there were these little bits and pieces here and there that didn't seem quite right. Okay. You know what it's like when you have that feeling of things just not adding up? Mm. Once it latches onto your mind, it seems impossible to focus on anything else. Every minute occurrence suddenly gives way to another itching sensation at the back of your skull. And no matter how hard you try to shake it off, it simply won't leave you alone. You're a clever one, aren't you? Wearing somebody else like a fleshy skin suit so you can hide in plain sight, living your life in place of the person you stole. Okay... Fake! That's what you are. A disgusting, vile, loathsome little creature with no face of your own. How does it feel to finally be seen for what you truly are, huh? So, obviously this is a visual novel and I was I'm a little bit surprised because normally you kind of have to read visual novels. They don't have voices, which I quite like about this game. But I'm really surprised that I've kind of got no options of what I say. I bet you don't even have a conscience. How could you, doing what you do? No, there's no way a demon like you has anything close to a soul. You make me sick. I'm wrong? <laughs> well, you would say that, wouldn't you? Have you not been listening to a single word I've said? The jig is up. Game over. Curtains close. You don't have to keep on pretending anymore. Okay, I am curious to know if he's the insane one or if it's actually me. I see you. That's really creepy the way he's saying that. Now you listen to me and you listen well because I've had just about enough of looking at your revolting fucking face. Imposter! It's an insult to everything we were! It's okay. Calm down. You can do this. You can get them back. Okay. I know that the person I love is still in there somewhere, buried deep down beneath the surface. You cannot replace them. I won't allow it. It's only a matter of time before I crack open your deplorable disguise and set them free. So... We can do this the easy way, or the hard way. Which would you prefer? Am I gonna get a choice now? What do you mean you don't understand? Okay, no. I told you! I'm not just going to sit here and do nothing while you devour the most precious person in my life! I want you to admit what you've done! I want you to give them back to me! Is this maybe like... Has our character maybe kind of like losing their memory or has dementia or something? It's kind of just a, um, he can't accept it maybe? Fucking liar! I promise I'm going to get you out of there, my love, alright? I know you're probably so, so scared and confused right now, and I don't blame you. This thing swallowed you up, but I think I know how to set you free. I'm not talking to you, monster! It won't be much longer now. I can already see the cracks starting to form. I just need a little more time to break this motherfucker. I love you. Always remember that. I don't feel swearing really kind of suits him, but I suppose that's the more of the whole purpose behind it, the shock factor. That's it! Time's up! You've heard everything I have to say. Will you just do us both a favor and admit you're a thieving fraud? If you had even the tiniest shred of decency, you'd give it up already. Can't you see how much this is hurting me? I don't want to be here! I don't want to do this! Do what? Just fucking admit it! Okay, I have a... I have a... I have a choice. I mean, if I'm an imposter, I wouldn't admit I'm an imposter. But if I'm not an imposter, I also wouldn't say I'm an imposter. So in theory, I'd say, you're wrong, I'm not an imposter. Fuck! You're a real fucking piece of work, you know that? I bet you're getting off on seeing me like this, aren't you, huh? 
laughing in my face. Well, guess what? Joke's on you, cause we're gonna stay here like this, just the three of us, until you're ready to admit what you've done. I think he might be the crazy What's one. What's that? You thought I was joking? <laughs> oh no, I hate to break it to you, my repulsive little friend, but I was deadly fucking serious. You're not going anywhere until I hear you say it. Cruel? You think I'm cruel? <laughs> That's freaking hilarious. Me, cruel? <laughs> you ruined my fucking life! You robbed me of the one person in the entire damn world that mattered! I get the impression he's a bit angry and upset. I don't know, I don't know why I'm getting that feeling. I've got nothing left to lose, so I'm more than happy to wait. And when you finally decide you want to own up, I'll be here, and then I'll take back what you stole from me. Okay. It's now quiet. Is this like another day now of me being in this basement prison thing. You do realize we're both stuck in this situation together, right? Are we? How much longer do you plan on making us sit here? I'm quite curious to know why some of the font has changed. Here, you have to eat. Can't have you dying on me before you admit what you did. I am very curious to know what is the what what the purpose is behind this. So I know it's been RSM. Oh, you're awake again, ready to confess. Am I literally gonna have two choices throughout this entire game? Either I am an imposter or I'm not an imposter. I won't listen to your lies. You're not real. I'm really curious to know how this game's going to end. Oh, I wonder how long it's been now. I'm getting a sense like several days have passed. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad to stay like this after all. Now is he trying reverse psychology? Quit staring at me like that! He's seeming to be going a little bit, um... I mean, I thought he was crazy anyway, but he seems to be losing it a lot more now. As if he's Sweet losing control. Love, my love. Okay, that's not ominous at all. I've got one... I don't know, I want to know what the light bulb was all about. If I just turn the light off in there. I'm not going to admit I'm going to turn the lights off. Okay, ah. Uh... I don't know, what, what is the point of this? M? I'm just gonna go through all of these. What's the point of that? Still not talking, huh? Oh well, we've got all the time in the world. Okay. Whenever you're ready, just go ahead and tell me the truth. You know? Just looking at your face offends me. Okay. I might have to do something about that. I'll stop looking at my face then if it offends you. <sighs> it's really weird, just breathing down your neck. You 
You must be thirsty. Can I get you something to drink? If you don't stay hydrated, you won't be able to own up to your crime. Okay. I am getting to the point in this game where you're kind of like, fine, I'll just admit it. It's cold in here, so I brought you a blanket. He's getting like red eyes, but I don't know if that's just... It's not for you, it's for my love. It's just his eyelashes. Really? Tears again? Haven't you learned by now that crying gets you nowhere? This is good. This is quite, you know, he's, he's holding his girlfriend ransom because she won't admit something. You still awake? Good. I'm still waiting. He's trying to obviously quite clearly play mind games. And... Would you just drop the damn disguise already? This little charade of yours is getting tedious. I honestly think there's something wrong with him. Now he's breathing down the other side of my neck. It's like the game is trying to get into your head as such. So you it's know, quite interesting. A relationship only works if both people are who they say they are. It's very gaslighting, this game. Ignore me all you want. It won't change anything. I hate that it's come to this. Come to what exactly? Or is that just a threat? You're just threatening because that seems to be all that you are capable of doing. No doubt you despise me, but I don't care. You don't belong here. I'm just doing what's best for all of us. How many cuts do you think it would take for you to bleed out? Oh. <laughs> I bet you'd make such a mess. Wanna give it a go? Depends how deep you cut her. It's only little cuts and I don't think it will... I don't know. Depends how many you do, I guess. I need to tell you something. Huh? What is it? Are you finally ready to drop the act? I suggest you choose your next words very carefully, demon. Tell one more lie, and I swear I'll end you right here, right now. I'm sure my darling will forgive me for skipping your confession, if it means we no longer have to suffer your unholy presence. So is he actually willing to, like, kill me if I don't t t tell him what he wants to hear? I know I'm real, but I'm not so sure I can say the same about you. Eerie. You've got to be kidding me. Are you fucking serious right now? Don't you dare try that shit with me! I mean it, just think about it for a second. No, there's nothing to think about. This isn't a debate. I mean, I just think I've got to click it again, I guess, or is it? Or is that it? It won't let me do anything else. I had to click skip just to see if it would move on. Well, you can't say I didn't warn you. Don't worry, my love. This will only hurt for a second, and then we can finally be together again. Just the two of us. Is this going to be like a Romeo and Juliet thing? No more pain, no more lies. I swear, I'll set you free. <laughs> 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 okay, so that was imposter. I had expected to have more verbal choice or at least to know what our character was saying. There were moments it felt like it kept going on and on without much happening. But putting ourselves in our character shoes, I imagine this was going on for days, if not weeks. It was a very visually pleasing game and I liked how it tried to get into your head. I believe there are multiple endings, so if you fancy giving Imposter a go, then the link's in the description below. Otherwise, hit my like button, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.